thought today'd be a good day to give an update, kind of an end of summer update now that we're almost to October and talk about how this greenhouse managed temperatures during the summer. Uh, here in Springville, Utah, the hottest day I saw on the sensors on the outside was 106 degrees Fahrenheit. And our hottest sensor reading inside the greenhouse during the summer was 91 degrees, which we're really happy about because last summer our highest reading was 101 degrees Fahrenheit. So 10 degrees cooler this summer than last. We had a hot and dry summer here in Springville. I think there are three main contributing factors for why we were cooler uh, this summer than last summer. Of course, the greenhouse is built about five feet below grade, that helps. We've got geothermal pipes that we've discussed, that really helps. But the changes that we made between last summer and this summer, there are three of them. First one is the obvious one. We really went out of our way to grow a canopy along the top of the greenhouse using passion fruit, dragon fruit, tomatoes, kiwi, anything that would crawl up on the window we used. And uh, we've been pulling the vine back every week just to continue to allow sunlight to get through it. But it has definitely helped us cool the greenhouse to have that canopy up there. Another thing we did differently this year was last summer, we left a couple of vents open all summer long the downside, of course, is you'd much rather circulate geothermal air. This summer, we decided to keep the vents closed. The only time they open is when our big fan goes on to cool the greenhouse. It pressurizes inside here and, and one of the vents opens. Actually, two of the vents down on the end open. Smaller vent doesn't, uh, or the smaller fan doesn't require that the vents open, but the larger one does. The downside of having the vents closed during the summer is I noticed we had less pollination in here. And while we release bees inside the greenhouse, we really rely heavily on the outside pollinators coming in here. And I noticed less pollination this summer. So that'll be something we'll work on for next summer. Third item that we did that was a big contributor if you saw earlier videos, we took the vent pipes here in the far corner and rather than have them come out of the ground outside, we ran the vent pipe over into the shop building. What we do during the summer is we take the cool air out of the shop. It is just naturally cool in there. And we have a fan that goes on. It's set on a timer every day from about 11 till five. It comes on and blows cool air into this greenhouse. In the winter, we'll reverse it and we will remove the fan or the blower from the shop. And when the fan comes on to cool this greenhouse, it will pressurize the greenhouse and force air through that rainbow hoop over underground and into the shop building to help warm the shop. But I, I am sure that helped us. I'm sure this is a contributing factor for why we were cooler. Those are the three main reasons as to why I think we were 10 degrees cooler this summer. It did definitely help with a lot of the plants that struggled last summer, like the peanut butter tree, uh, star fruit, avocado tree, uh, noticeably better this year as opposed to last year. So anyway, just a quick update on temperature for the greenhouse during summer. We're cooling down now and uh, fans don't come on very often at all. But uh, quick update, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, we'd love your feedback. That's it for now.